Hi everyone, I'm Lana Button and I'm very excited to be here um, at Telling Tales Festival to talk with you today about kindness and caring, which is what my book, What If Bunny's Not a Bully, is all about. You know, when we are with our friends and everyone's getting along, everyone is sharing the stuff, everyone's playing what they want to play, we're being and saying really nice things to each other, it's really the best feeling. But things don't always go that way when we're with our friends. Sometimes um, we get off track. And that's when we really have to dig deep and think about kindness and caring so that we can get back on track. And that's what happens with what if Bunny's not a bully? Because everybody is playing together and having a great time, except for Bunny, because they've decided that Bunny is the bully. There's Bunny, there's the bully. She looks extra mean today. Stick together, everyone. Make sure she stays away. And Christine Batuz is the illustrator for the story and she did a fantastic job because I think you really can see the look on the characters' faces and kind of know how they're feeling. And when I look at Kitty and Kitty's eyes are looking back at Bunny, I think she's not quite so sure about what Gertie's saying. It, to me, she looks like she has a feeling in her tummy that thinks, you know what, I think I need to think about this a little bit more. And that feeling in your tummy is called intuition. It's a helper feeling that says, hey, I need to stop and think about this for a second. And so Bunny asks, or Kitty asks some more questions, like, why is she the bully? What'd she do and what'd she say? And Gertie says, oh, Bunny is a bully. It's just always been that way. But Kitty wants to know, how do you become a bully? Are you born a bully? Do you catch the bullies? Do you learn how to be the bully? And when you are the bully, do you stay the bully? Even when you're old and gray? And that's, a, that's an upsetting thing for Kitty because that would be an awful thing. And she says, please don't call me bully. I would hate to have that name then I would be the one left out and be the one you blame. And Gertie says, don't be silly, Kitty. We would never act that way. Then we would be the mean ones if we never let you play. And then I think they're finally starting to think about Bunny and how she's feeling. And this is where the kindness and the caring come in because with some more thought, they think, hey, you know what? Maybe we don't run away. What happens if we stop, stay? Bunny comes over and says, well, I, I'm feeling sorry and I'm wondering, can I play? And then they decide that, you know what? All friends make mistakes every now and then. I wanna see what happens if we all just try again. I think that that's a great world that we live in when we give our friends and we give people a chance to try again. Because you know what, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes, my grandma makes mistakes, your dad makes mistakes, the principal makes mistakes, and your friends make mistakes. So if we let them know about the mistake and give them some space, give them a chance to say, I'm sorry, then, then we can try again. So the big rule that I have when we're getting along with our friends is no names. Can you say that? No names. Because really nobody likes to be called a name. Nobody wants to be called the bully. When you say that, then they might not think they have the space to say, I'm sorry. So tell them what you don't like. I don't like it when you say that. That makes me sad when you do that. And then give them space and they'll have a chance to say, oh, I'm sorry. Guess what, sometimes it's you who has to say I'm sorry. When you realize, ah, I made a mistake there, I'm sorry. And then you get a chance to try again. And then we will all live in a community with kindness and caring. I wanna thank Telling Tales very much for giving me a chance um, to talk with you today. See you later.